Hello Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Your support helps us make mental health and psychology more accessible to everyone, and we wanted to thank you for all the love you've given us. Now back to the video. What is resilience? Resilience means you're able to withstand or recover from difficult situations in your life. It can help us deal with heartbreak, failure, and life stressors. When we build our resilience, we're able to better recover from hardships and setbacks in a more healthy way. Resilience might be something you're searching for, especially now, between dealing with a pandemic and trying to return to some semblance of normalcy. Staying resilient in these trying times is key in keeping up with your mental and physical health. With that said, these are 8 things resilient people do. 1. You stay flexible and open-minded. Do you often stay open to new ideas, opportunities, and solutions? Resilience is all about trying to make the best out of what may seem like the worst. When you're resilient, you don't have a one-track mind. You give yourself the time and opportunity to think everything out before jumping to a conclusion or fretting over worst-case scenarios. 2. You practice patience and kindness. Whether it's in the workplace or with friends, you're known for showing patience and kindness towards others. This includes being kind to yourself when you mess up. Being kind and patient with yourself is just as important as it is with other people. 3. You're generally optimistic. When something bad happens, are you able to look at the big picture? You don't let one bad slip up ruin your whole day and know not to fixate on the bad things. You focus on what you're grateful for, like your friends, family, and possessions, instead of looking for the negatives. This optimistic mindset isn't only a key part of being resilient, but it can also help make you happier overall. 4. You live in the present. It's easy to fall into spiraling thoughts of your regrets and past mistakes, wondering what might have been, but dwelling on your mistakes won't change anything about your past. Moving on and learning from your mistakes takes resilience. When you're resilient, you learn how to accept what happened to you and focus on what you can do in the present. 5. You value and build good relationships. Do you take the extra time needed to build those strong relationships with the important people in your lives? Having a support system is very important. Friends and family are the ones who are there to celebrate your highs and a shoulder to cry on during your lows. As someone who is resilient, you know that once you've built a strong support system, then you're set for life. 6. You know and consider your limits. Are you aware when you need help? Or do you burn yourself out unnecessarily? No one is perfect, and no one can do everything by themselves. Everyone has blind spots and weaknesses. This is why you know when to confide in your trusted peers, or when to take a break, and how to practice good self-care. 7. You know how to handle rejection. Rejection, in any form, can be hard to swallow. Maybe you didn't get the job you really wanted, or your crush doesn't like you back in the same way. Do you take these things very personally and think you're not good enough? Or do you recognize instead that there are other factors involved in making these decisions, like other, more qualified applicants or another person's feelings? As someone who is resilient, you try not to let rejection get the best of you and decide to move forward instead of letting any kind of self-loathing hold you back. 8. You like spending time alone. Do you like to take time alone to process things, reflect, or get to know your inner self? When you spend time alone to think through your troubles, it can help you sort out your feelings and any possible actions you can take. Reflecting upon things and growing from them are some of the best ways you can learn. Who knows, you might learn new things about your inner self you never expected to. Whether you're still working on building your resilience or you already are a resilient person, every bit counts. Do you relate to any of these things mentioned in this video? Or do you have any tips on building resilience? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.